been able to uh, promote uh, economic development, growth, social cohesion within the EU, but we feel that uh, this is a turning point. And it's extremely important for the future to keep the same level of ambition we had in the past, the same uh, passion for this uh, European uh, project. And we feel uh, that uh, we need to uh, give a strong and powerful signal that we want this project to be powerful, uh, we want more sovereignty, we want more influence in the world, and that's why my first, my first message is please don't be the museum of the world. In fact, I, I think we should not be afraid uh, to look at operational ways, concrete ways, to be more effective in terms of management of migration, on the one hand, and on the other hand, making sure that this is in line with the international law. We have also to take into account the, the fact that uh, we are not uh, delivering on the need to have a ceasefire in Gaza and in Lebanon. It, it, it creates, and it will create, more and more uh, migratory uh, flows, and some of those people will, be in, 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 will fulfill the conditions to get the uh, status of refugees, but not all of them. I don't need to give any advice to Antonio Costa, uh, and, uh, and he has a lot of experience at the national level, at the European, at the European um, uh, level.